Hi, hello. Today I am going to tell you about life table. So it is very important question uh, regarding sixth semester for statistics students who selected applied statistics two paper. Okay. So life table. So it is a statistical tool used to measure the mortality, survival, sheep mortality in the sense nothing but. Uh, it's a fertility rate that means birth rate okay so let's see what it is yeah a life table is a statistical tool used to measure the mortality survival ship and life expectancy that means how many years a man can live okay so of a population at various ages okay various ages we are going to calculate the mortality rate, the survival rate and the life expectancy. Okay, that is called as life table. Table in the sense nothing but rows and columns we will say no. So like that only here we have some columns. So how to uh, create a life table. Okay, so at various ages. And the next is it provides, it provides a comprehensive way. What do you mean by comprehensive comprehensive view of how long individuals are expected to live. Individuals are expected to live and the likelihood of the likelihood of survival at different ages okay survival at different ages okay so this is about the life table so comprehensive view in the sense it is nothing but it is a um, what we say um, clear report we can say okay clear view that means everything it contains okay clear picture comprehensive view means it contains all the elements which are needed Okay, that is called as comprehensive, clear picture, okay, which contains everything, yeah. Next is components of life table, components, in the sense as I told you that columns, components of life table or else components, they can also call columns of life table. Or as they can say that the elements of life table. The elements of life table. Okay. So whatever they asked, we have to write the following. Okay. Yeah. First one. Age interval. Age interval. Age interval in the sense what? It is denoted with x to x plus n. Age interval in the sense it is nothing but it's a limit. That means if you take uh, from uh, 1 to 2 years. That means here x stands for 1 and the x plus n is nothing but 2 years. So that is called as age interval. Okay. So age group age group okay we can consider example age group is considered here example we can say that 0 to 1 years okay or is 1 to 2 years 3 to 4 years 80 to 90 years like that we can write anything okay so that means in between in between interval in the sense in between okay yeah next the second one number of survivors 
ओके नंबर ऑफ सर्वाइवर्स इज डिनोटेड विथ एल एक्स एल इन देंस वॉट लिविंग सो नंबर ऑफ पर्सन आर लिविंग ओके सो दट इज कॉल्ड ए सर्वाइवर्स ओके या नंबर ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स नंबर ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स सर्वाइविंग सर्वाइविंग टू द बिगिनिंग टू द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द एज इंटरवेल बिगिनिंग ऑफ द एज इंटरवेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट द चिल्ड्रन फ्रॉम फाइव टू सिक्स इयर्स दैट मीन्स वॉट द चिल्ड्रन हु आर लिविंग फ्रॉम फाइव टू सिक्स इयर्स वी कैन कैलकुलेट हियर ओके ना सो सर्वाइविंग टू द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द एज बिगिनिंग मीन्स फाइव इयर्स ओके ऑफ द एज इंटरवेल ओके दैट इज कॉल्ड एज नंबर ऑफ सर्वाइवर्स so next is third one this is example i just said you so next is um, probability of dying okay probability of dying so this is denoted with qx okay probability of dying is denoted with qx so here we study about the persons who die okay the probability that an individual an individual will die before reaching the next age interval before reaching the next age interval for example see here i have calculate uh, in the previous step i have calculated from 5 to 6 years children that means the the children who crossed 6 uh, years and they come to the next interval that is 7 to 8 years so that means we can expect that these children are going to live further years okay that means nothing but 100 minus 5 is nothing but we can say they can able to uh, survive they can able to survive uh 95 years like that we can say okay so that is what so will die before reaching the next age interval okay probability that an individual will die before reaching the next age interval okay yeah so that means here they calculate the person who don't reach 7 years they are considered as what here they may be uh die like that they may die yeah and the next is life expectancy life expectancy it is denoted with ex so here we calculate how many years they are going to live as i told you here 7 to 8 years means they can live up to again more 95 years like that i told no so that is called as life expectancy so here you properly understand probability that an individual will die before reaching the next age interval okay so that means the person who are in between 5 to 6 years if they don't come to 7 years here they calculate the expected death rate anamata okay so average number of years remaining as i told you remaining years are there expectancy of living remaining for individuals alive that means living alive at the beginning of the age interval at the beginning of the age interval at the beginning of the age interval okay so these are the most important components or columns we can say for the life table okay so and the next we are going to learn about uses of life table how the life table is used okay and the next uh, we are going to learn is uses of life table uses of life table so here the first point is it is used for public health planning okay so first step is public health planning 
how it is used in public health planning in the sense c helps in understanding helps in understanding mortality patterns mortality patterns and enabling better health policies okay enabling better health policy for formations okay so for example here uh, they may investigated that most of the 5 uh, year 5 years old children are going uh, die dying so what they do is they improve some vaccines and they uh, they investigate why the children are dying uh, without reaching 6 or 7 years like that means they investigate and they properly uh, prepare some vaccines in order to uh, survive for the rest of the years okay so like that the public health planning will plan in order to improve the health policies okay and the next is insurance it is used in insurance so used to calculate used to calculate premiums okay used to calculate premiums for life insurance for life insurance policies based on life expectancies okay based on life expectancy and risk of death okay risk of death so like that it is used life table is used in insurance and the next is demography demography so demography is nothing but it is a study of population okay so assists in studying population okay in studying population dynamics and forecasting population changes okay how the population is increasing how it is decreasing what is the cause of dying all these what is the birth rate what is the death rate all these will be calculated in demography okay next actual science okay actual science in the sense where the mathematical calculations are considered it is called as actual science life science in the sense where the uh, life that means uh, living beings so actual science in the sense where mathematical calculations are considered in order to give some reports okay so crucial for designing pensions okay pension plans and retirement benefits etc okay retirement benefits etc so like this the life table will be used for all this okay hope you all understand so if you are newly watching please subscribe to my channel and if you want any topic please comment share with your friends and also don't forget to like so that if you like it will reach to many students who are in need of this topic okay so thank you for watching stay uh, stay watching bye take care